What is going on everybody? It is Lazivo here, and as promised, I said I was going to win a game of Gunmaster, and I did. And what I decided to do with this gameplay is break it down into a list of rules you can follow so that you can be victorious at Gunmaster. Which brings us to rule number one. Notice this guy spawning directly in front of me. Rule number one is watch your ass. The spawns are crazy in this game. You never know when somebody's going to spawn behind you or somebody's going to spawn in front of you. So be on the lookout, be aware, look around you, and uh, hopefully you can avoid those shitty spawns and be on the good side of it like I was there. But you never know. It is what it is. You know, It's hard to control that in the game. Which brings us to rule number two. Although it may look like a good idea to scale a balcony, uh, rule number two is don't hurt yourself. There is a falling hazard. You can see when I hit the ground, my health immediately drops to 78% from 100%. Let's look at how that affects me in my next gunfight here. You can see, I am, uh, see a guy, I engage him, I get a few hit markers. Notice he kills me with only 4% health left. Had I had that extra 22% health, I might have been on top of that. Who knows, you know? You never know what could happen if I uh, if I'd had that health. So, rule number three is go streaking through the quad to the gymnasium. Uh, no, um, basically what that means is this game's not meant to sit around and hide behind some cover and wait for people to come to you. You can have a great KD and finish towards the bottom of this game. It's not about KD. Much like a free-for-all gameplay, it is more about getting kills. Which brings us to rule number four. The 93R is annoying. This gun is terrible. It takes up half the damn screen when you run. It feels like you have this giant blind spot. I don't know. I... I I just despise this gun. It doesn't, it's not that it's not effective. I feel like it does some damage. It's just I feel like I can't see with it. So I just uh, have to kind of relish in the fact that everyone's got to deal with it. So it is what it is. There's not much you can do about it. It's part of the game. Just uh, try to get your kills and move on. And that is going to bring us to rule number five aim for the head. <laughs> Basically, what that means is headshots are going to do more damage. And I guess everybody knows that in games, but in Battlefield especially, headshots are extremely important. There's a damage multiplier based on where you hit people. Shoot them in the head, and you will be more successful. That's just that's just how it is. And uh, aim for the head. That's it. It's not much more I can say about that. Which uh, is going to bring us to rule number six. Hip fire for the win. This is something I saw in an El Presador video. And he was kind of trolling on Battlefield a little bit. He was saying, the controls suck, the controls suck, uh, your best bet is to hip fire. And in some aspects, he's right. When you run into those, those close quarter type engagements, you're going to be much better off firing from the hip than you will aiming down the sights. And I think that kind of, again, that's sort of a general first person shooter rule, but it really does apply in this Gunmaster game. Um, <laughs> as a, you, you can see, I'm still streaking uh, past the quad to the gymnasium. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just hip fire whenever you feel like it's appropriate. And don't be afraid of it. You know, it's, it, it is effective. And that is going to bring us to rule number seven. Ladders, unlike in real life, are good luck. So shoot through them, and it's good luck. Walk through them, and it's, uh, it's seven years bad luck, I guess. So you can see I still walked around that one. I'm not going to risk it, even in a video game. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm not really superstitious, but it is what it is. Rule number eight, spas has range. Don't be afraid if a guy's long range like that. Just aim down sights and fire. You can see I did a lot of damage to that guy, which allowed me to finish him off right there. The spas was added with the close quarters uh, map pack. That whole, um, and, you know, they added some of the some different guns, and that was one of them. And it's really effective at long range, especially if you aim down sights. And that brings us to rule number nine. Spam the shit out of the MK3A1. This gun is absolutely terrible. I've mentioned it in previous videos. Go ahead and just keep pulling the trigger. Who cares if I died right there? I got a kill with it. And thank God, because I don't want to spend any more time on that gun than I absolutely have to. It does have frag rounds, so keep that in mind. Rule number 10. Everybody poops. Even in video games, so make sure you check the bathrooms. You never know, you might just uh, run into somebody while they're washing their hands and uh, get a free kill. And <laughs> that's kind of, I say that jokingly, but in all seriousness, all I'm saying is check your corners. When you're at, whenever you're running around in a video game, you never know when people are camping and hiding and what they're doing. What, who knows what that guy's doing? That's, that's the lowest traffic area on the map, but uh, I think I might have saw him on my mini map and just went in there and cleaned him up. So it is what it is. Got to follow it. And uh, that brings us to our next rule. 
Conference rooms will kill you, in both in video games and in real life. Meetings suck. I spend a lot of time in conference rooms, and uh, it's a lot like death, just like that guy. So, <laughs> who knows? Uh, that brings us to rule number 12. A man can't breathe. He can't fight. I learned this one from Karate Kid. Uh, anytime you leave an engagement and a guy's holding his throat like that, uh, you did your job, and you can go ahead and move on. Uh, aim for the throat it kind of kind of follows the headshot rule <laughs> but uh you know and like i said learn that from karate kid if you guys haven't seen karate kid 3 go ahead and watch that it's pretty good uh man can't breathe he can't fight man can't stand he can't fight man can't see he can't fight so gouge the eyes uh kick the knees uh kick the balls i guess you don't really stand or breathe when you get kicked in the balls so go ahead and aim for those <laughs> and uh the throat you know man can't breathe he can't fight it's pretty much all there is to that one. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. How did I get off on this huge Karate Kid tangent? I'm old. I'm dating myself. That brings us to our next rule, and that is rule number 13. Glass is not cover. If you're hiding in a room with glass thinking that you're safe, you're in trouble because it doesn't provide you any uh, visibility decrease. I can still see you through glass. It's transparent. It doesn't stop bullets, and I don't know what that guy was doing, standing out in the open, thinking that uh, he was safe behind a couple panes of panes of glass. You know, it's not like your convenience store bulletproof stuff. So, uh, don't hide behind it. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, that's gonna bring us to our next rule: spray and pray. Rule number fourteen. Anytime they give you an LMG with a hundred bullets in the in the in the magazine, go ahead and just hold the trigger. Only good things can happen. The LMGs are kind of underpowered in, in Battlefield, I think. And uh, by that I mean, I don't think you get the damage increase that you do in, say, a Call of Duty type game. So go ahead and just hold the trigger because you're really going to want to get... It's all about getting the bullets downrange, you know. You're, the more the more projectiles you can put down, the better you're going to... The more success you're going to have when you get in into those engagements. Uh, I don't know why they give you ACOG scopes on the LMGs. I feel like that's just... I mean... Why do I need an ACOG on something with just gigantic recoil? But whatever, it is what it is. It's going to bring us to rule number 15. You can see three on one is not fun. <laughs> you can see how I uh, run into three guys in this hallway all facing me. That's a terrible, terrible situation to be in. And that kind of shows you that this Gunmaster game is not like the gun game. There are, It's team-based. It's almost like you have one team versus another. So it's possible to run into three guys that aren't going to be fighting each other. They're looking at you. And that's bad news. Even two-on-one is bad news. So, um, you know, kind of treat it like a deathmatch game in that, you know, in that regard. And that's going to bring us to rule number 16. If you run from a sniper, you'll only die tired. That's kind of a joke on snipers, but basically long lines of sight are at a premium in this game. People are willing to lay on their bellies just to get a kill to hold down that one line of sight. So watch out for that, guys. Know those areas. Which brings us to rule number 17. It's not over till the fat lady sings. You see Sergeant Melonhead has just reached level 16, which is two levels beyond me in this game. And uh, little to... You know, no worries. I just kind of remained calm and uh, just do what I do and know that there's a lot of time left. It's difficult to get those last kills in the game. You'll see that coming up. But uh, they give you that grenade launcher and then the knife, and they're not easy kills, so there's a lot of time that passes. I think five minutes went on in that gameplay from the time that showed up until the time I finally got the last kill. So, um, Which brings us to rule number 18, let them come to you. This is the definition of hard scoping right here. Boom, headshot. Uh, basically, all I did, I knew he was going to be running up the stairs, so rather than worry about me aiming down and moving moving my right stick, I just left it in one spot knowing that he's going to come right up into it. And as soon as the crosshairs were on his head, I pulled the trigger. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, just let him come to you, I guess. That's what I'm saying there. And that's going to bring us to rule number 19, don't chase. This is a pretty standard first-person shooter rule, but basically... Uh, I got a hit marker on that guy, I got a little anxious, I start chasing him, and uh, I get shot from the side. Just, like I said, standard first person shooter rule, anytime you chase somebody, you're putting yourself out there, you're going to be exposed, so really watch out for that, and uh, be conscious of that, it's hard not to, you get excited, I know, I just did, but you got to try and got to try and relax a little bit, and uh, really know what's around you at the time. Rule number 20, go ahead and quick scope. Sometimes it's all it's your only option, you know, they give you snipers in this game and it's close quarters So there's very few long lines of sight and uh, 
like I said, they're at a premium. So uh, sometimes you just got to make do with what you can. And that guy, I saw that guy running out, and the only thing I could do is quick scope. It's not the most effective sniping strategy in Battlefield. It doesn't have that the same type of auto aim assist that Infinity Ward likes to put into Call of Duty. But um, you know, like I said, sometimes. Yeah, necessity is the mother of all inventions, right? And you just got to go ahead and do it. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's all you have sometimes. But uh, now you'll see I finally made it to the grenade launcher. They give you grenades, but it's not actually grenades. It's a launcher. And uh, it's difficult to get kills. There's a delay on it. And what that does is create this little red dot over his right shoulder, which is rule number 21. Make your own martyrdom. Even though I got knifed, <laughs> he got the bad end of that martyrdom. I don't know. I just... Uh, you almost have to set traps with that thing and fire it into high traffic areas and fire it when you know guys are chasing you. You kind of bounce it off a wall and hope that they come in and at times right that they blow up. You know, that's kind of what I do here. You'll see I sort of uh, fire one here. It sits right in this doorway and uh, some guy comes chasing after me and boom, I'm on the next level. Which brings us to rule number 22. <laughs> Anytime you can recreate the scene from Michael Jackson's Beat It video, go ahead and do it because it's awesome. Except for uh, when he brings his friends and they all want to kill you. <laughs> Especially ones with guns. That's, uh, <laughs> I just got the theme in my head. Doom, do, 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 do. I don't know. <laughs> you guys haven't seen Michael Jackson's Beat It video. There's a knife fight in there. It's awesome. It's rule number 23. Never bring a knife to a gunfight. Uh, you'll find yourself in gun games and gun master constantly having the wrong weapon for the wrong type of engagement. That's just an example of that guy had a pistol and I, I'm coming up with a knife and you know he just shot me a few times and that was it. So and that brings us to rule number 24. There's no need to be flashy. You know, so what if I don't get the uh, slow mo knife animation at the, you know the cool battlefield taking his dog tags animation? Just hack and slash and get the win. You know. Uh, it does take two knife hits from, from directly in front of somebody, but uh, that's it. Got the win. There it is. Rule number 25, have fun. The game can be frustrating if you take it too serious, so enjoy yourself. I hope you liked it, and I uh, hope uh, you guys have as much success as I have. And leave some comments. Thanks, guys.